Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to another Nintendo Switch 2 video and we have a pretty massive leak for the Nintendo Switch 2 when it comes to details on the console and even some photos. So if you guys have been paying attention to the Nintendo Switch 2 stuff that's recently happening, a lot in the past week has leaked out. Now of course take that with a grain of salt, it could end up being fake. That's always the case, but a lot of things have leaked out or potentially leaked out I should say. And it's getting pretty exciting, things like bundles for the next Nintendo Switch bundle Bundle, not Nintendo Switch 2, but the original Nintendo Switch. The Super Mario Bros. Wonder leaked out, that was right. We have the first Nintendo Switch 2 confirmed game as well. And then there's a price tag of 400 and just a whole bunch of things. And this is the latest round of Nintendo Switch 2 leaks. If you guys want to be kept up on these type of things, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. VGC has an article on this and this is what they have to say. Alleged images of the Nintendo Switch successor console have appeared online, showing a design that's not too dissimilar from the previous console. The images which appeared on Reddit but were originally sourced from the Chinese social media site show a device with a larger 8 inch screen, magnetic joy cons, and a USB C port on both top and bottom. While the images are unverified, one source who has not seen the final Switch 2 console but has been briefed on Nintendo's plans told VGC that the Reddit images match what the company has told partners to expect from its design. Now other than that info, there are some other things as well. So if you hop over to that Reddit post, they do also have some of the specs. It's a pretty big leak guys on the Nintendo Switch 2 and it's pretty exciting. So we have the shipping detail summary. Console game itself, left Joy-Con controller, right Joy-Con controller, dock, detailed configuration list. A couple things that stand out in this is the video game console protector case. Usually systems don't come with cases. So I do find that pretty interesting. They also have an NS. There's also listed on here a built-in microphone model, which is pretty interesting, but also an NFC reader. So it seems that Amiibos are still going to be continued to be sold, which I mean, why not? They probably make a lot of money for Nintendo. As for the memory, it says flash memory model. The HDMI port does support HDMI 2.1 as well. And there's a lot of other stuff, but there is another post on here that is pretty interesting. It was posted four hours as of this recording, and it gives you a better idea on what this is going to be like. How powerful is it compared to other consoles? Any tech savvy fellas want to explain the specs in simple terms and keep in mind these match the current specs for the leak as well that just happened today so it's going to give you a better idea on how powerful the nintendo switch 2 is going to be if this leak ends up being real again it could be fake and we'll get to that part as well so handheld right above ps4 before dlss docked between ps4 and xbox series s before dlss with more modern hardware than the former ram slower than the ps5 and xbox series s slash x the speed to Department, but more capacity than the Xbox Series S should have about 10.5 to 11 gigabytes of RAM. Now remember, this was a past leak and it lines up with the past information. There's more as well. Storage, UFS 3.1 max speed should be a hair under the Xbox Series S 2.1 gigabytes versus 2.4 gigabytes. Still plenty fast, even if it's not maxed out. Lines up with the digital foundry and Nate Drake heard about the decompression techniques and fast load times of Breath of the Wild tech demo, respectively, for each source. Now they do actually bring up an interesting point on this post. They say not only is the Switch 2 ARM based rather than x86 like the system compared, so they're talking about the Xbox Series X and S and PS4. Essentially what they're saying is AMD and Nvidia have their own things going on with their systems and their hardware. So you can't completely compare them because they're better at other things than the other one, if that makes sense. But overall, having the power of a PS4 and, and again, that's before DLSS, which if you guys didn't know, is basically going to make things run better and look better. And again, that AI upscaling was part of a recent leak as well, so that's something that's being echoed. Is a pretty fantastic thing. I mean, I think this is going to be one heck of an upgrade, and honestly, if that leak about the 399 price tag is true and we do get basically a PS4 to PS4 Pro for the next Nintendo Switch, Sony's going to look a little silly with their $700. Again, like I said in the last video, that is a more powerful machine, so obviously it's going to cost more. But again, I just don't like the idea of spending $700 on a Pro version of a console. I just never thought that we would ever, I mean ever, have to pay that much for a console. Because, you know, console was always the cheaper option. When you're comparing it to the PC, it was simple, it was fast, it wasn't too complicated, almost plug in and play, you know? But if the Nintendo Switch 2 is $399.99 and the games look fantastic on the Nintendo Switch, especially in docked mode, I think Nintendo is going to have a huge winner here because they're going to be getting a lot of games coming to the Nintendo Switch. And honestly, 
fingers crossed, I'm still hoping for the Shadows of Mordor series to come to the Nintendo Switch. I know that's kind of out of pocket, but I've always wanted to play that on the Nintendo Switch Portable. It's either that or I'm going to get a Steam Deck eventually, but we'll see. Now, they do have an update on here, and there's something that you have to keep in mind when it comes to the pictures. The update says the CAD renders may not be legitimate. It wasn't stated that the renders were mock-ups. However, the original post was a 3D modeling enthusiast, so it's possible that should be considered, or it's a possibility that that should be considered. The two photos depicting actual hardware are likely real. So keep in mind, the models might have been made up from a mock-up from somebody, which I'm assuming it was a mock-up based on those hardware pictures. So those photos of the 3D renders could be someone who made it as a mock-up to give you an idea of what this thing could end up looking like. Now the big question you have to ask here is, is that Nintendo Switch 2 reveal going to be very, very soon? The TGA is coming up, Tokyo Game Show, so I'm wondering if Nintendo is going to be showing off the Nintendo Switch 2 there. I always thought that it would be on October, but honestly, with these leaks, I'm starting to change my mind now. It feels like that Nintendo Switch 2 reveal is going to be very, very soon. And if we do get that Nintendo Switch 2 reveal, one thing you have to wonder is, are there going to be any games revealed at that event, or is this going to be a small tease? How big is this reveal going to be? Because you have to wonder, we usually do get a Nintendo Switch Direct, or I don't know why I called it a Nintendo Switch Direct. I mean a Nintendo Direct in September. So is this going to be that September Nintendo Direct? But it's going to be instead of a September Nintendo Direct, is it going to be a Nintendo Switch 2 Direct? And is that Nintendo Switch 2 Direct going to give us more gameplay on maybe things like Mario and Luigi and new Nintendo Switch games like Metroid Prime 4? Are we going to get gameplay during that? And they're going to say, this is what the Nintendo Switch 2 can do. I don't know. I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to be a very good time. Another thing we have to wonder is this as well. Will Nintendo end up giving us a direct date for the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal? They said that it was going to be coming by the end of fiscal year 2024, which is going to be in March. That's when it ends. So if we do get that reveal, I wonder exactly when pre-orders are going to go live. They said they do have a plan to combat all of those people that keep on buying the Nintendo Switches and Xbox Series X's and PS5's and all that stuff. The consoles that are in high demand that keep getting scooped up by scalpers. They do have a plan and they said they have plans to have plenty of stock. So we'll see. I mean, when it comes to scalpers, we know that they are really, really quick. I still have no idea how I got a PS5 at the launch. It was literally just by chance. I just happened to come across an IGN post on Twitter and I'm like, you know what? Risk it for the biscuit. Let's pre-order it. Don't have that much money in my account, but I want a PS5. And honestly, I don't really regret that decision, and I'm going to do the same exact thing with the Nintendo Switch 2. With that being said, guys, what do you guys think about all of this? When do you think the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal is going to be? Would you like the power of a PS4 to PS4 Pro between docked and handheld mode. And what do you think about the photos of the Nintendo Switch 2 models and the factory leak? Do you like the design or possibly design? Remember, this was from a 3D modeler, so that might just be a idea that he had where he can give people a look at the Nintendo Switch 2 if that's going to end up being the configuration based on that hardware leak where you're seeing the inside of the supposed Switch 2. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. And while you're down in the comment section or if you're still watching this video and not correcting me on my probably dumb mistake, I want to say thank you for reaching this video this far and um, oh, here's a cookie. For those who don't know, YouTube considers cookies potentially inappropriate for some reason. So let's spam those cookies in the comment section. I want to see pages of among pages just go wild with cookies in the comment section and if not on your way out make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on and if you want to support the channel in any other way there is my patreon and twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those oh and also have this donut if you're still sticking around for me rambling thanks for watching guys and remember stay safe stay charged and have a good one